Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undaunt's Breakfast with Kutaloops. In our last episode, we won a subjugation war for the Kingdom of Delhi and managed to take, well, basically everything that the uh, King of Ayuda um, was holding on to, which is Delhi plus a couple more, three more uh, counties, I think, maybe? Anyways, uh, we ended things off after uh, debating the possibility of uh, turning Buddhist so that we can um, do some title revocations uh, because there's a couple of duchies that are looking really nice. Uh, the first of Ku is uh, Kuru over here, which holds the county of Delhi, but also Hastinapura, which while it has uh, less holding slots, it has more potential for uh, more... Well, I mean, once it gets the last holding slot, it'll have uh, potential for more baronies than Delhi itself, but as it stands, well, whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, the other benefit is that uh, Delhi here has a, a Silk Road trade post, as does Mathura, which is one county south of it. So if we hold the duchies of Kuru and Mathura, then we'd, um, I think we'd be sitting, uh, sitting pretty here, what with uh, a lot of uh, centralized um, income and all that stuff. If any of that makes any sense at all. That and also we get to revoke title away from uh, people who don't like us. Like this asshole over here. Apparently uh, he's not happy that I've uh, imprisoned and humiliated him at some point. So he's a bit of a jerk. And this guy from whom we actually took all the, uh, the kingdom as well as everything from. Yeah, he's also not my biggest fan. But before we do, I would like for us to actually try to hold a Kali Puja feast uh, because I've never actually done that before in this campaign. So it'd be nice to get that done and then go ahead and convert. And then once we convert, we'll actually ask all of our um, loyal vassals to convert with us. That way we don't need to uh, blast them in the ass. Um, now if you're a little concerned, if you prefer that I stay Hindu, don't worry. I'm sure throughout the campaign we will most likely be switching back and forth between Hinduism, Buddhism, as well as Jainism. Uh, especially once we unify all of India, we will definitely be going Hindu because I think Hinduism gives us access to uh, holy wars and stuff. Whereas Buddhism, I think the holy war is a little limited, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they may have changed that recently, I don't know for sure, but uh, regardless. Okay, so we can... Um Arrest this guy who is trying to assassinate him. He is, of course, the offshoot dynasty that we created with... I forget who was stooping her. Ah, was it Pluten? No, I think it was actually uh, Miracula. Yeah, Miracula impregnated her uh, as a lover. And then we created the offshoot uh, People Rajya dynasty. Right. Anyways, um... I guess we can imprison him. Sure, why not? Because I don't want him to kill my vassal here. Who is actually decently loyal. And also, one thing I noticed. There's some unreligious, uh, religious unrest going on here. And normally this wouldn't happen amongst um, uh, Indian religions. They're all meant to be very tolerant of each other. Um, but... Here, it's Sunni, so you get do see the uh, different religion group and revolt risk and all that stuff. But here, I think it might actually be because maybe this guy's Satanist or something? I don't exactly know, but we shouldn't be seeing that high of a religious unrest. Maybe it's something to do with his uh, council members and all that stuff, but anyways. So we need to wait until October before we can host the Kali Puja Fest. Feast. So let's do that. And... right. So this guy won't come to our lands, that's fine. Oh! One other thing, uh, one other big benefit to, uh, being Buddhist is that, um, we won't need to worry about castes anymore, so I'm really looking forward to that. And let's go ahead and hold our Kali Puja feast. To properly celebrate the seasonal feast, you should invite all your vassals. You have your scribe write the letters and send them off, the messenger's satchels decorated with flowers. It would be a grand feast. In the Indian Autumn Feasts, tradition dictates that you offer a gift to your spouse. You should plan for this and buy something before the feast begins. Uh, let's go for a jeweled necklace. Nice. 
I mean, we have enough money, and we're also generating a crap ton of money, too, so... The castle is decorated with flowers and colorful tapestries, carpets, and ribbons. All the guests have arrived, there is a bustle of people, and all eager and full of festive spirit, it is time for the feast to begin. Welcome, one and all! Alright. At the feast, it's time for the traditional ceremony of gifts. So my wife has a 30% chance to fall in love with me. Let's hope that it works, and... She is in fact my lover. Fantastic. The darkest night of the Kali Puja is here, the most important night of the feast. Candles are lit everywhere, placed inside human skulls. The guests stroll across the painted and decorated floor, carrying various symbols of time, death, and change. Homage is offered to the beautiful and terrifying four-armed idols with uh, swords, skulls, and severed heads in their hands. Let the ceremonies begin, or do something extra this year. Um, now I believe, um, from what I recall, doing this will let us possibly sacrifice a prisoner? I don't know if I necessarily want to- oh, we can actually banish this guy to get 170 ducats. Sure, let's do it. And then let's, uh, ransom this dude. I believe he was trying to assassinate someone at some point. Her? I don't know why we have her in our prison. I guess we'll just let her go. This guy... Um... I guess you might have maybe captured him. Maybe he was a commander or something. We're just gonna we'll let him go too. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Now the... Con to getting cruel is that it would lower our vassal opinion, making it a little bit more difficult for us to... Potentially ask our uh, vassals to convert with us. So let's just do the regular ceremony. Several black goats are brought forth by the priests. The goats are laid down below, below a large statue of Kali, and their throats are cut open. The blood is collected in bowls made of human skulls and presented to the uh, crowd. A chanting arises, then a cheer, as the holy sacrifice to the goddess of death, time, and the blackest night has been made. Praise Kali, our mother. Fantastic. So is that it? The feast is over, but it was a fantastic feast. As the guests make their way home, you sit down and smile to yourself, pleased at how things turned out. So what, we gain like 30 karma from that? Like, come on, guys. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and, first off, change our beard. I'm not quite sure I like that weird pronged beard thing. Um, Let's go with that. That looks pretty nice. And then, uh, now we'll convert to Buddhism. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll come back to Hinduism at some point in the future, I'm sure. I'm certain of it. Fantastic. Buddhist tradition is marked by immense pluralism, but principality follows three main branches. Mahayana, Vajrayana, and Theravada. As you convert, you must choose one of them. So this gives us plus five vassal opinion, uh, health plus one, and learning plus one. Learning is garbage. Health sounds pretty useful, but I think maybe Vassal Opinion might be the more useful out of the uh, three. So let's go with that. And now we will ask our most vas our loyal vassals to convert with us. Uh, sure. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, start revoking territory from assholes who don't like us. And uh, from whom we want to, you know, take territory. There we go. I think a lot of these guys are actually going to... Uh, come with us. Except for maybe him. Oh, he's zealous, that's why. I get it. Fine, fine. What about you? What's your deal? Too many held duchies. Well, give me a sec, alright? What is it that I have? Uh, Raj of Kuru. Ah! Well, I don't really want to give away the Raj of Kuru, so we'll hold on to that for now as well. And there we go. I think that's the majority of them. Uh, this guy will ask as well. Him? I don't think we'll ask him because he actually holds on to Dasapura, which is supposed to be a part of the Duchy of Avanti. And he's supposed to be, uh, Medapata over here, which is not including Dasapura. She does not like me, so we'll just go ahead and, uh, revoke her shit too. Um, this guy could potentially, maybe... Learn to like me a little bit. Yeah, but do we want to maybe seize his territory at all? I mean, he does own... ...the significant chunk of it. Sorry, that didn't make any sense. 
he does own what he's supposed to, I don't think there's any real benefit for me uh, to take his territory away. This guy, however, owns uh, land that he shouldn't. So, hmm. Okay, well, this little kid is right, Gorka. I could actually just grant this guy independence. Because that's supposed to be part of Gorka, which is part of the Kingdom of Nepal. Um, maybe I will just grant him independence because they don't really need that kingdom. That's not even a part of uh, the uh, empires of India. So you know what? Independent. Merry Christmas, little kid. You get to uh, survive the upcoming onslaught. Because uh, I'm hoping that we can actually trigger a rebellion. Although, let's try to maybe go with people that will definitely say yes first. If there is such a thing. Ah. It doesn't actually look like it. Yeah, alright, fine. Well, we still need to wait to hear back from them. Hey, wait a minute. Did my kingdom symbol change or my emblem? Whoa, that's pretty cool. It's now a beefy arm. Sadly, not attached to Trogdor, but still a beefy arm nonetheless. Fantastic. All right. All right, you fools. Welcome to Buddhism. Thank you very much. It is kind of weird to see that their um, emblems or uh, crest or family, whatever, are changing. Hmm. All right, so I think that should be the majority of people that we want to turn a Buddhist. Now Buddhist. And I think before we actually uh, start revoking titles and starting rebellions and shit, we should probably get all our... Right, we've been kicked out of the Advaita Matha. Right, it's because that's the Hindu society. I heard about the madman who tries to blackmail Rani Mahalakshmi. Before my friend Marani Mahalakshmi came to me and asked me for help, Rani Mahalakshmi isn't known for her diplomacy. She's known for people repeatedly saying her full name, which is Rani Mahalakshmi, would handle this uh, situation. Sorry, <laughs> is known for di her for diplomacy as desperate as she is. It is even more likely uh, Rani Mahalakshmi would handle this situation with less tact than needed. All right, I guess we'll try to help you out. Rudimentary trade offices have been built in the trade post of Navasarika. Fantastic. Let's get all our troops uh, into our capital and then we will start revoking territory and shit. And people are trying to kill me. Right. Like this asshole over here. Ah, I see. I see. Alright, well just give me a sec. Alright guys, just give me a sec. So we have about 12,000. I'm fairly certain a lot of these guys... Ah, damn it. Well, actually, this is perfect. Yes! Because now I get to just uh, revoke his shit without having to worry about him rebelling against me and crap. Fantastic. Alright, and that one too. Thank you. So that's that one. We'll just make a new human being for it. And we need to give away Godwad as well as that. So... Medantaka. Look at this, guys. We don't need to worry about cast anymore. Oh, this is great. So, Medantaka, I don't think there's any trade posts or anything like that, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's give um, Medantaka to this guy. And then the other one can go to this... Uh, I mean, his marshal isn't all that great, but he is uh, content, so... And rev can revoke his title, too. That'd be a yes. Well, how about we just let our vassals deal with that issue? And that is Maru, right? Great. Alright. These are maybes. What about you? That's a yes. So we can take Delhi for sure. Uh, I don't think that there's any need to um, obligate him. We're fine as is. So Delhi is mine. That's perfect. Um, since Delhi is mine, I guess we can let go of one of our other territories here. Vadodara. Well, if we're going to be moving our capital up north, I guess we don't actually need to hold on to Lata anymore. So we'll just give it to him. 
You don't actually have any territory, do you? You good. Badadara can go to you. And now we have uh, three um, trade posts, which is awesome. So we need to revoke his title. Oh, there's a war going on for it. Okay. Um, not my war, obviously. That's a maybe. Well, I actually kind of want these guys to say no. Hmm. But I guess it would be easier if we just, um, have yeses first, and then we'll, uh, work towards a no. Okay, that's a yes. That's a yes, and that is a yes. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think there's any need to worry about the, uh, minor titles and shit. That'll eventually all turn, uh, Buddhist. So, we're good. At least, I think we're good. I could be wrong. Who do we want as the... Or what do we want as the capital? Hisar, I think, should be the capital. And it can go to this guy, who's unfortunately slothful, but... Whatever. Uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, let's not worry about the culture either. You, my friend, can take Hisar. That's great. And then we'll just find some other dudes for the other places. Yeah, that's good. Can take the other one up there and what the hell okay and then last but not least this guy can take Sarasvati you my friend will be the new duke of that place great and uh, so far no rebellions which is kind of strange all right well let's hope that this actually triggers it then come on rebel against me my wife is pregnant. Fantastic. And he's just given up. What a little bitch. What a little, little bitch. Damn it! Wasn't expecting you guys to just roll over like that. Good grief. Alright, fine. Whatever. It, w it just would have been easier if we did like a, a rebellion war. Because then I get the uh, bonus opinion, right? for um, vanquishing a rebellion and also um, it'd just be easier because I need to because then I can just you know uh, revoke territories um, uh, w while they're in my prison I don't need to wait for them to uh, respond to me and all that crap take that county and we'll just go down the list here take Kota and uh, this one can go to that's the guy there we go all right, you will take the Duchy of Metapata, even though you are not actually located in Metapata. That's fine. And this guy now. Who's he? Oh, I see. Just a jerk. Oh, right. Okay, there's a war going on. Got it. All right, so I guess we'll have to go with this guy next. All right, so that's a maybe. Let's hope that he actually rebels. Come on, rebellion. Nope, not today. What the shit? Alright, so what was going on here? Oh, I see. Well, I mean... Hmm. Okay, well then I'm just gonna revoke all your shit. Merry Christmas. You are Hindu as well? Great. There we go. About freaking time. What the shit? Didn't I ask you to convert? Ah, oh, fuck, I may not... Crap, I think I forgot to ask that guy to convert. Shit. Oops. My bad. It's fine, though. It's fine. Alright, you know what? Let's just start uh, sieging down territory. And I'm assuming the rebellion doesn't really have much in terms of troops. So we should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's just uh, assault the holding and move on to attack their troops. Had a new son, unfortunately. Damn it. Now we have to deal with the uh, terribleness that is the fucking Gavelkind succession. Crap all over it. Alright, so in a few more years, we should be able to go ahead and change that. To, uh, I guess we should have it be the same, which is primogeniture. And then we can actually destroy it and then remake it. My court physician, Pujari Vasudeva, has shared some of his latest ideas with me. I do not know much of medicine, but perhaps he's onto something. 
He's asked for some money to develop his theory further and write a book on it. Sure. I mean, we got the dough, so we might, might as well. And let's follow him back into Ludraba. That is a sweet, sweet, easy win. And we're just gonna, just gonna uh, siege his territory down now. Uh, Yerun, my genius daughter, requires an education. Let's go with... I guess... Duty? Sure, I suppose. Apparently, um, there's not much benefit to going with uh, Thrift if you're a genius character. And we're just gonna blast you in the ass again. Merry Christmas. You son of a bitch. Stop running away from me, ass bag. Unbelievable. There we go. Alright, so we should be able to get 100% just from these fights now. I think, at least. Yeah, just one more fight. 100%. Nice. Now we just get to seize all your territory without worrying about anything. And believe me, it is great. Listen, buddy, I'm sorry. You were meant to become, uh, become Buddhist with me, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately that didn't quite work out. Hmm. I actually wouldn't mind this guy being my vassal. He's got some pretty good stats, and he's also a good commander, too. So maybe we'll try to, uh, keep him, um, and not have him turn against me. In the meantime, you do need to give away all these holdings, so... Yay, I have no interest in holding on to this duchy here, so let's just go ahead and give that away. Um, let's try to find someone with some good stats. Preferably someone who's content, if you can manage that. Is this guy over here? Sure. Which is the best county of the three? These two are pretty much the same, and that's... Alright, fine, you can just take the namesake county. Vod... Merry Christmas, kid. And then, um, oh, this guy might have been actually better than the other dude. Ah, it's fine, whatever. Not that big of a deal, especially once there's the succession and all that stuff. It'll all end up in the same pile anyways. All right, you, my friend, can take the, uh, duchy. Fantastic. And Ludra Va. You want to give away as well. Mmm, is there any way to get him to not hate me so much? Too many held duchies, and you want the duchy of Stravani. I can give that to you, alright? Just give me a sec, alright, bud? Let's take it easy. Alright, uh, let's give Ludrava to him. And... Too many held duchies, alright. Well, I'm just gonna give you the du duchy of Stravani. Fantastic, let's ask him to convert. Perfect. And, uh, you're converted. You are not converted, but you're not actually my direct vassal, so we don't need to worry about you. Hmm. This guy. Unfortunately... Let's ask him to just make peace. I would owe him a favor. Well, fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because I'm just gonna revoke all your titles anyway, so... Merry Christmas, you dumb sack of crap. Fantastic. All right, wait. Isn't that supposed to be part of your thing? Oh, right, 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 okay. So he rebelled against me. Ah, right, oops. My bad, guys, my bad. All right, you fool. Heh, <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm just gonna revoke all your shit because you guys are just complete jackasses. You do not respect me at all. Fools. You, revocation too. Merry Christmas, kids. Merry Christmas. What's happening here? Right, okay. Alright, um, again, we don't need to worry about the minor holdings. Let's find someone for this area here. In fact, this guy might be pretty good. Ajmer is these for holdings. Uh, here, you can take... Which one? Um, yeah, you know what? You can actually just take the Ajmer Ajayameru or whatever. 
Uh, apologies uh, uh, again if I'm butchering all these names. Let's keep the uh, court physician guy for ourselves if we can. And uh, you can take that one. And ooh, some really good stewardship dude here. Unfortunately, not going to be my steward because he's going to get buried in someone else's uh, court. So it's fine, though. All right. So you can take the Duchy of Ajmer. Fantastic. Um, and what are you at? Who, with whom are you at war? Ah, right. Your liege. Well, it sucks to be a kid. Okay, so now, um, I think we should probably... Yeah, I... No, 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 we shouldn't try to hold on to Mathura as our capital. Because, unfortunately, there's already, uh... It's pretty well developed as it is. Yeah, we don't need to do that. What's going on here, though? I think there's actually someone here holding on to territory in two places where they shouldn't. So I'm just going to do a quick check. Mm. What's going on? Why does the other one highlight two when I uh, click on one of these? Or click on Mathura. I don't get it. What's happening here? Doesn't do that with this. Does it with that? Is it because of the trade outpost? I'm not quite sure. All right, um... Hmm... Not gonna lie, it's not sitting that well with me to uh, move our capital, but... Ah, we should, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should. We should. The technology is definitely gonna go down. Not by a ton, but a significant amount. Which isn't great. And we'll also have to make uh, the Kingdom of Delhi our primary title. Damn. Alright, so I thought we could uh, designate heirs. Can we not? Hmm. Yeah, because we don't want Amir to be our um, to be our heir. Oh shit, my heir is actually still uh, Hindu. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't need to ask for help uh, managing my titles, thanks. Yeah, whoever gets these uh, holdings will be super powerful, so we got to watch out for that. All right, well... Actually, these are pretty well developed, too. Interesting. Yeah, you know what? We wouldn't be uh, letting go of too much, then. All right, well, let's do it. Sure. Uh, and then we will make Delhi our primary title. Fantastic. Aw, oh, man, we've kind of gone from a beefy arm to this. Ah, it's fine, though. It's fine. And we want to give away Dasapura, too. Um, anyone here want to take Dasapura? Someone who's preferably not too old will go with this guy. And we're still three over our domain limit, which is not great. Yeah, we'll give away Debol, too. It's fine. We don't really need it. I'd like to hold on to it because we've got the, um, you know, trade post going through it, but it's fine. So if I do this, will it give the... Oh, it will. I was kind of hoping that it would uh, stay with me if I don't do uh, give all lower titles too, but sadly, that doesn't work. Got it. Oh. Oh, I see. Right, right. Our realm color uh, changed to a pasty peach color. Well, it's fine. And Sovria, we can create. And let's give the title away to this content guy who's got amazing... Nah, you know what? Let's just give it to the other content guy here. There you go, kid. Merry Christmas. And uh, we can also create that duchy if we really want to, but... I guess it's really not that, not that necessary right now. Um... Now, these vassals, I'm thinking we should probably get them to convert. Or, I think we might actually have to revoke them. Since there's no way in hell they're going to uh, convert anytime soon. They just hate me that much. Unfortunately. It's fine. Uh, Delhi. Yeah, we'll actually hold on to your, um, barony and stuff. Yeah, we'll hold on to all the extraneous baronies until after we find or uh, start uh, creating some 
more on our capital here. And I'm sorry about the kind of homekeeping stuff. Um, wait, is that housekeeping stuff? Yeah, that's what I meant. The housekeeping stuff of having to revoke titles and shit. It's kind of one of the necessary parts of um, realm revocations and all that stuff. And we will give away... Um, yeah, you can take Navasarika. Doesn't feel good to give away uh, places with, um, you know, with uh, trade posts, but it is what it is, right? Part of the uh, necessary cycle of things. Have I already asked everyone in Mathura to... No, I have not. Well, we will soon, though. Sorry, guys. Uh, as I said before, unfortunately, it's kind of difficult to um, just edit all this out. Because uh, any time passed basically in the game is uh, time for hilarity possibly lost, if that makes any sense. So we'll just go a little uh, over today just to kind of like get all this stuff. Give these away to proper people who are not... Uh, who are Buddhist. It's great. Um, what did I just get? Oh, that city. Well, we'll give that away too. Yep. And temple holding. Fantastic. Kind of wish this, these would all come in at the same time. Makes it a little easier to deal with, you know. Alright, that's great. Are we waiting to hear back for some more, or... Are we almost there yet? I think we're actually almost there. I say that, and then immediately... Yep. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, so that, uh, one, two. And as I said, we'll hold on to the baronies. Um, until we get more built up in our capital. Then we'll just exclusively hold on to the baronies in our capital. That's good. Kinda wish it was a little easier to tell, um, if the holdings are being held by people of the same religion. But, uh, it's only easy to do that when you're of the same, I guess, if they're of, like, a different the religion group, then it's easier, but, yeah. Alright, well, we'll probably have to give away this, uh, duchy and all its counties and stuff. Because we should only hold on to two duchies, realistically. Oh, what the sh- Oh, man! Damn it! I accidentally gave that away. I'm such a fool. But, mmm... Um, yeah, alright, well, let's try to, uh, get this guy assassinated. Can't imprison him. Yeah, let's try to get him assassinated so that we can, uh, take that territory. Alright, well, uh, let's hold the- let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow, and hopefully things will be a little bit more exciting. Again, I apologize for the housekeeping stuff, but, uh, next episode we should be able to go to war with the Rashta Kutra for our, uh, uh, for the remainder of the uh, Duchy of Avanti. And then maybe we can even go to war with Kusala or something. We'll, uh, we'll try to get something going so that we don't uh, just sit here revoking titles and shit, which I'm sure is not that exciting. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!